they have this like super vibrant fashion district that has everything that you would need um, and so much choice of fabrics. Excited. waiting for the train and um, we're heading to Dongdaemun. I think that's how you say it today is an area with lots of fabrics and textiles. It's just like a fashion area. So yes, we're really excited to go and check that out. The place that where that has the fabrics, it's like a big shopping mall with um, like nine levels of um, different fabrics and different floors with different types of fabrics. So yes, we're very excited to um, to visit that today. We tried to visit the other day and it was closed so it's Monday now and apparently it's open so we're really excited. We have our suitcase fabrics and I have my <laughs> fabric man. Package man. Package man. And yeah, excited to see what we come across. <laughs> made it to the right spot at Dongdaemung Market. This place is so big that it's very easy to get lost but I see bolts of fabric so I think that this is the right spot so yes excited to go in and have a look. so much going on that it's very hard to film because you're just so distracted. We're currently on a level where there's just um, a whole bunch of different things, yarns and different fabrics, different people sewing, um, curtains, everything. Put anything in the bag. You know what yeah. I should have done? I put my watch on to see. Do come me Please do this red print. Crinkle texture cotton. Shake shift in time. Another life. I've tried to let it go. Tell me.
And Chris and I are both really exhausted to be honest. Um, just the amount of choice in there was really overwhelming. I ended up getting three different fabrics which was really good and the communication was still a little bit challenging as well. Uh, but it's a really cool place and I'm so glad that I got to experience um, this area. We just had some food and we're feeling refreshed and ready to go again. We're going to visit this place. It's called World Wholesale Market and it's open from 8pm to 5am in the morning. And there's like all this fashion stuff in there. So we don't really know what to expect, but we're going to check it out. Um, we're just across the road now. I'll show you guys the building. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along and seeing what we got up to today uh, at the Dong Dae Mung, Dong Dae Mung, Mung, I don't know, area. It's really fun, really busy, so much going on there, but we're both super tired now. It's about 10 p.m. Just got off the train heading back to our Airbnb. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the day. So it's been a couple of months since we got back from our trip and it's finally nice to have this video out because it's been a long time coming sharing my fabric shopping experience with you. We got a little bit lost at the start but we ended up finding the building that had the nine levels of different fabrics and trims and all sorts of things. We went up to one stall holder who was really kind and we put in our translate app how do we buy fabric and um, he was really kind to had this conversation with us and kind of explain okay how to buy this fabric so this is actually the fabric that i bought from his stall i chose a fabric and then i paid for my order and he wrote down my order and he said come back in a couple of hours i think it was like three or four hours and i'll have the fabric ready for you so what he did was send that order away somewhere and then in another factory or another kind of building where they were keeping the bolts they would cut the fabric there and then bring it back um, to that original store where you made that order for you to pick up later. So that was a really different experience. You have to be quite good at visualizing what this sample would look like in a big piece of fabric. Um, and having just thousands of these samples is just like, oh my gosh, this is just like choice overload. There also were some stores there where you would have seen where they had the fabrics on the bolts where you could um, buy it on the spot. Um, so I did buy these two um, straight on the spot because the other thing about buying the fabrics from the samples is uh, it was lucky that we were able to make this order in the morning and a couple of hours later we came back to pick it up on that same day. But as the day um, progressed in the afternoon, there were some stores that would say, okay, you'll have to come and pick this fabric up the next day. So this first fabric is 100% cotton. It has a really subtle seersucker texture through it, which is really beautiful. Um, and it's quite lightweight. I'm imagining a summery dress. The next fabric is this 100% linen and it has a really nice weight to it. It's a little bit heavier than a mid-weight fabric. It has a really nice drape. And then the final fabric that I got was this crinkle viscose in this sage green color really impressed by the quality of all these fabrics. It's like stepping into a whole different world being there, like just seeing 
like everything was all in one spot. There were people, um, manufacturers making things. There were people delivering fabric on the backs of bikes. There were um, just everything you can imagine to do with fashion and textiles down to labels and trims and everything you could ever want. It was in this one area and it was just so cool to see it just like all together and just like working together. It was kind of a little bit more catering to that kind of wholesale fashion kind of label. We were still also able to walk into the building and and buy buy fabrics as a tourist. Seeing people like in and out with their bags of fabrics and things like that, like that have maybe like a fashion label or have like a small label or even a big label, like you can see how it's all done in this one area. So many cool designers and um, super inspiring designs coming out of South Korea because they have this like super vibrant fashion district that has everything that you would need um, and so much choice of fabrics and um, just all the resources basically there. I did feel like we were outsiders looking in being like what is happening? We don't know like we're not on the end of like what they're doing and what's happening even though we can kind of see it all happening around us um, but it was just cool to be there in that kind of environment and just soak it all up. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and were able to maybe learn something about South Korea and this area. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.